Joseph R. Biden Jr. was born on November 20, 1942, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, as the eldest of four children to Joseph Biden Sr. and Catherine Finnegan. Facing financial hardships, the family eventually moved to Wilmington, Delaware, where his father found success as a used car salesman. Biden attended Archmere Academy, excelling in football and serving as class president in his junior and senior years, though he was an average student academically. Biden went on to study at the University of Delaware and later at Syracuse University College of Law, where he met Nelia Hunter, whom he married in 1966. Together, they had three children. After graduating in 1968, Biden returned to Delaware, working as a public defender and later entering politics. In 1972, he won a long-shot campaign to unseat Republican Senator J. Caleb Boggs, becoming one of the youngest U.S. senators at 29. Tragically, shortly after his victory, Biden's wife and daughter were killed in a car accident. His two sons were injured but survived. Biden was sworn into office at the hospital where his sons were recovering, marking the beginning of his nearly four-decade Senate career. In 1977, Biden married Jill Jacobs, with whom he had a daughter, Ashley. Over his Senate career, Biden chaired the Judiciary and Foreign Relations Committees, shaping critical policies on judicial appointments, civil rights, and foreign affairs. Though his 1988 presidential campaign was cut short, his visibility grew. In 2008, after a second unsuccessful presidential bid, Barack Obama chose Biden as his running mate. As vice president from 2009 to 2017, Biden played a key role in managing the 2009 economic stimulus package and U.S. foreign policy, including the withdrawal from Iraq. The death of his eldest son, Beau, in 2015 deeply affected him, prompting Biden to forgo a 2016 presidential run. However, in 2020, Biden secured the Democratic nomination and defeated President Donald Trump in the general election, becoming the 46th president of the United States. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. assumed office on January 20, 2021 amidst profound challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic and a politically divided nation. One of his early priorities was managing the pandemic. His administration launched a nationwide vaccination campaign and passed the American Rescue Plan, a $1.9 trillion economic stimulus package that provided direct payments to Americans, extended unemployment benefits, and funded public health initiatives. Biden also pursued transformative infrastructure projects, signing the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act in November 2021. This $1.2 trillion bipartisan bill focused on modernizing roads, bridges, public transit, and broadband access. Additionally, he prioritized climate change, rejoining the Paris Agreement and committing to a 50 to 52% reduction in U.S. greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. On the international stage, Biden's presidency has been marked by significant events, including the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan in August 2021. While controversial, the move ended a 20-year U.S. military presence. Biden also led a coordinated response to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, implementing sanctions and delivering billions in military aid, including advanced weaponry, following the October 2023 Hamas attack on Israel, which killed over 1,600 people and saw more than 200 hostages taken, Biden unequivocally supported Israel. He warned adversaries against escalation, sent U.S. naval forces to the region, visited Israel, and secured congressional approval for substantial military aid. Domestically, Biden has pursued economic reforms, healthcare expansion, and efforts to address racial inequality. His ambitious Build Back Better plan faced hurdles but highlighted his administration's commitment to childcare, education, and climate initiative. President Biden initially announced his intention to run for re-election. However, following a poor debate performance against former President Trump, he faced mounting pressure to withdraw from the race. Ultimately, he endorsed Vice President Harris, who went on to lose the 2024 election to Donald Trump.